the Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil awareness alert for the Greater Denver Metro Area. At 2.36 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a worker in the central containment unit of the genetics lab of the Applied Sciences University reported a breach in the containment unit sector V. This sector is stationed 15 miles north by northwest of Golden, Colorado, and it contains research on genetics mutation from many possible sources such as fallout, pollution, and others unnamed. It is unknown what was in the unit when the breach occurred, but all citizens within 100-mile radius of Sector V are advised to remain alert and to report anything suspicious to the authorities. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil awareness alert for the Greater Denver Metro Area. At 2.10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a worker for the Applied Sciences University contacted the containment unit sector V and received alarming news. The breach reported earlier has a confirmed source. An experiment had been done on crocodiles, found in the eastern Asian regions, to test for genetic mutations from a recent nuclear reactor meltdown. According to the staff at containment unit sector V, the crocodiles showed an odd change in their eating habits, mainly going after one another, even when food was present. It is currently unknown whether these crocodiles pose any threat to the population. It is advised, however, to not deal with the crocodiles directly, but to call the authorities if you encounter them. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil danger warning for the Greater Denver Metro Area. At 5.36 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a civilian had reported what appeared to be a crocodile assaulting a young woman in the area of Arvada, Colorado. Later on, about 20 minutes afterward, the civilian had went back out to survey the area and found a lady's purse and a pair of glasses, as well as a footprint a trail leading eastward. There have been many sightings of crocodiles, ranging from Golden, Black Hawk, Central City, Arvada, Littleton, Weedridge, Westminster, Thornton, Brighton, Denver, and Broomfield. If you encounter one of these crocodiles, do not try to deal with them directly, and if you can, call the authorities. If you're in immediate danger, run in a zigzag motion to the nearest safe shelter. Make sure to barricade yourself in, or to have a long-range weapon at the ready. At all costs, if you do not need to be outdoors, it is advised to remain indoors until further notice. Barricade all windows, doors and possible points of entry, shutter all windows and close all fireplace dampers. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil danger warning for the eastern half of Colorado. At 8.19 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a worker for the Applied Sciences University contacted the containment unit sector V and received an alarming update. The crocodile's eating behaviors are now confirmed to be adaptive and somehow shared between all of the crocodiles in the group via brain waves. The exact number of crocodiles in the group that were not caught immediately following the breach has been confirmed to be a total of 50, with 20 of them already caught and returned to a safe facility. The sightings of these crocodiles have spread from the greater Denver metro area and now include Aurora, Parker, Centennial, Louisville, Boulder, and Larkspur. It is very likely that any flowing water such as the Colorado River is likely to allow these crocodiles to migrate quickly to other states. Another alarming characteristic of these crocodiles is their ability to sense activity based upon signals. These crocodiles are dangerous and actively hunting for any source of food. Do not try to deal with these crocodiles, you will be swallowed and digested alive. If you are forced into a confrontation, use any weapon that can put distance between you and them and run in a zigzag motion to confuse them. If you are outdoors, it is advised to find a building to shelter in. Barricade all windows, doors and possible points of entry, shutter all windows and close all fireplace dampers. Also, minimize all activity that transmits signals of any type. This includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, infrared, and radio.
the Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil danger warning for all areas on the Colorado River and the Mississippi River. At 11.36 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, several states on these rivers had confirmed sightings of these crocodiles as they look to migrate towards the sea. As of this time, it is unlikely that all of the crocodiles will be caught, but reports have confirmed that all but 10 of the 50 have been caught or otherwise eliminated. It is advised to remain indoors and sheltered, and to get indoors, if you are outdoors if possible. Barricade all windows, doors and possible points of entry, shutter all windows and close all fireplace dampers. Also, minimize all activity that transmits signals of any type. This includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, infrared, and radio. Do not try to deal with these crocodiles, you will be swallowed and digested alive. If you are forced into a confrontation, use any weapon that can put distance between you and them, and run in a zigzag motion to confuse them. Also, it has been confirmed that loud sounds such as noise, screaming and loud music are deterrents. If you can, use these in an encounter scenario as they should be enough of a distraction to either make an escape or to drive them away. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil danger warning for all areas on the Colorado River and the Mississippi River. At 11.36 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, several states on these rivers had confirmed sightings of these crocodiles as they look to migrate towards the sea. As of this time, it is unlikely that all of the crocodiles will be caught, but reports have confirmed that all but 10 of the 50 have been caught or otherwise eliminated. It is advised to remain indoors and sheltered, and to get indoors, if you are outdoors if possible. Barricade all windows, doors and possible points of entry, shutter all windows and close all fireplace dampers. Also, minimize all activity that transmits signals of any type. This includes Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, infrared, and radio. Do not try to deal with these crocodiles, you will be swallowed and digested alive. If you are forced into a confrontation, use any weapon that can put distance between you and them, and run in a zigzag motion to confuse them. Also, it has been confirmed that loud sounds such as noise, screaming and loud music are deterrents. If you can, use these in an encounter scenario as they should be enough of a distraction to either make an escape or to drive them away. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued a civil danger cancellation. At 11.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, the Applied Sciences University has confirmed that all of the 50 escaped crocodiles have either been caught or eliminated, with one exception that they believe has migrated to the ocean, where its immediate threat has been diminished. It has been advised to remain in your shelters until the all-clear has been given, due to a recent development in that the reproductive capabilities were much faster than normal, and there is a possibility that the crocodiles may have made it in late eggs. Once the all-clear has been given, you may feel free to exit your shelters and resume normal activity. If eggs are found, an area of 10 square miles will be alerted. If you find eggs, do not deal with them directly unless you know how to handle them. Call the authorities and let them know of the situation. It is unclear if the hatchlings will have the same capabilities as their parents, as the experiment was unable to provide viable reproduction data. So as a precaution, it is best to assume that all of the hatchlings will have the same capabilities as their parents. The Applied Sciences Authority has issued an all-clear. At 7.46 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, the Applied Sciences University has confirmed that any and all eggs laid by the mutated crocodiles were collected and dealt with accordingly. You are now free to resume all normal activity. This is AXTL Radio, serving the area of Arvada, Colorado. The emergency alert system will now be deactivated 